Hello guys, how's it going? So it's Malhead Lee here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to run two instances or more of OBS at the one time. So why would you want to do this? Well, the reason I run two instances of OBS is I send one stream to Twitch and then I use the other to record a high quality local recording off my stream to my hard drive which I can then use to upload to YouTube. The reason I do this is because my internet isn't great and the bitrate that I send video to Twitch at is very low and I basically I want a high quality recording off my stream so people can enjoy it on YouTube as well after if they don't feel like watching a bad quality stream. That's basically the way I do it. Other reasons or scenarios you could use for using two remote windows of OBS is to send two streams to do two different services. So for example, you could send one to Twitch and the other to maybe YouTube or one to Justin TV or I don't know what other streaming services there are out there, but as many as you want, you can do this as many times as you want. You could stream to five if you wanted, but you need a pretty beast PC to do that. But in this video, I'm going to concentrate on doing two. And in particular, I'm going to concentrate on sending one to Twitch and the other for a local recording. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is download OBS and install it. You can download the 32-bit or 64-bit. Obviously, if you're running a 64-bit system, I recommend the 64-bit version. But install that and you can set up however you want. I'd recommend this one for your stream. So I can go ahead and preview this. And oh, just delete that. Uh, so this is what my stream looks like. I have got my switching game stream, uh, my main window, and then the stream ending and so on. So we can close that. So you can set this up how you want. What you want to do then is download the binaries uh, of OBS. And this is basically what it looks like here. So this will download a 7-zip file, I think it is, or a zip file. And you basically want to extract this to a file somewhere on your hard drive. So this is what it comes out like here. I don't. I extracted the 64-bit version. Uh, you have both here, so whichever one you prefer. Uh, open the extracted folder and find your OBS executable. This is it right here. You can see it's got the little OBS logo to the side of it. What you want to do with this is right-click and create a shortcut. And you can see the shortcut is right here. What you can then do with this is you can cut it. And I'll just go to my desktop here and you can paste it to your desktop or anywhere you want. If you have an OBS folder here in your desktop or a file somewhere else you can send this to. So I'll just go ahead and delete that. I already have my two here. So this is the one that's installed normally. And this one is the one installed from the binaries. So what you want to do first is on your first instance on the one that you install normally is right click, go to properties. And right here where it says target, you want to write space dash multi. That's space dash M-U-L-T-I. And this basically means, so we'll go ahead and OK this and apply it. So what this means is you can open multiple windows off this program right now. So I'll go ahead, that's one right there. Open it again, that's two. So we can open this as many times as you want. You can go ahead and open three, four, five, doesn't really matter. That's what that does. So what you want to do then is on your second shortcut, right click, properties, and do the same again, space dash multi, but you also need to add space dash portable. So space dash P-O-R-T-A-B-L-E. And what this does is it, portable means it launches the application from the folder it was installed. So in this case, this one right here will be launching from the folder we downloaded it from, which is this right here. So this is all the program files for this OBS, whereas the other OBS is installed here, right here. So you can see two different locations. So both of these programs of OBS are installed completely separately. So how to set up now to do a stream to Twitch and a stream for recording? Well, I'll go ahead and open my Twitch OBS right here. And we'll go to this and preview it. So we'll have that and we can open then the second OBS. So we'll just put that there. What we want to do then is you can do a couple of different things. You can either set it up the same. So have the same scenes in your recording and have your video capture here or capture card, wherever you're using webcam. Um, or you can do what I do and I just do a monitor capture. 
Uh, I find this is a little better in performance. You don't have a bigger hit on FPS uh, when you're playing. But this is what I do. So what you want to do then is just preview this. So I have this set to record my third monitor, which is my monitor to my left. So to get video on this, what you're streaming, you simply right click here, go to projector and whatever monitor you're using. So I'm using monitor three, so do that. And you can see like magic, it just pops up here. Okay, so you can see now that I'm projecting this screen on my third monitor, it shows up here on our recording OBS. And if I switch scenes, uh, you can see it changes seamlessly. We have all this, it's, it's pretty much, there's a tiny little bit of lag. So if you're using a webcam, you may notice that it's out of sync a little bit with your audio, but it's something you have to kind of mess with yourself. As I don't use a webcam, um, a webcam, sorry. Uh, I haven't noticed this too much, but as you can see, that's basically how you set it up uh, to have your recording one without having a big impact uh, on your performance. If you were to use this uh, with game capture, like say I have my game here and you have all these, pretty much the exact same as this one though, um, it would be a lot bigger hit on your system and you'd notice a dramatic frame drop. Uh, the first time I did this setup, I used that method and playing Armour 3, I was dropping to about 20 FPS where I usually got around 30 to 40 um, in that particular area. So there is a big difference. And by using this monitor capture, uh, I noticed maybe a five to 10 FPS drop. So this method is definitely a lot better for you guys to use uh, if you wanna do a high quality local recording. So I'll quickly show you my settings here. So my settings for my streaming, uh, they're pretty low, as you can see, this is why I need to do this. Uh, five, seven, five for the bit rate. Audio is one, one, two. Broadcast, that doesn't really matter there. It's all personal. Uh, I downscale to 360p. Audio doesn't really matter too much. Uh, yeah, stream settings don't really matter. It's the recording you want to really know. So the encoding for this, I've set for five, five kilobytes or five megabyte. I've set to use the QuickSync encoder. It just takes a bit of a load off uh, the rest of the computer. And uh, that's about it. Audio is one, two, eight, broadcast. That's the same, file output only, that's important. And then resolution downscale, it should be at 720p. I don't know why it's not set to that, but yeah. Anyway, that's about it. Everything else should be okay. Um, and you can mess with the quick sync encoders if you want, but for me, this is pretty much fine. And yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it. That's how I record my local recording for my streams and stream to Twitch at the same time. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, then drop a comment below. Uh, the reason I made this video is because this is something I wanted to do, and I didn't really find that many good quality tutorials on this. So hopefully guys, this is good enough for you and you can understand what I'm trying to explain here. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.